Jesus Christ, you guys wanna shoot my nutsack off? Welcome back. Welcome back to Bro Labs, a series you probably forgot about because <laughs> I know I did. But listen, none of that's important because what is important is water. So let's take a look at the water osmosis reactionary table. Okay, going up to the first uh, molecule, which everyone knows is H2O, commonly known as water. All right, as you can see, there is one hydrogen molecule and two oxygen. Now you're probably thinking that is wrong, and you would be wrong, okay? It's a, uh, you know, this defies logic. Yeah, I don't understand it myself, but uh, there it is. It's the unstable isotope known as H12O7. As you can see, no one knows what's happening with that. Uh, there's just a lot of happening to H3. Commonly known as the cedar of life uh, or the penis molecule. Okay. Honestly, I'm a little bit intimidated there because uh, I'm thinking that bad boy is a shower and a grower, and uh, <laughs> that's impressive. Let's get to the most important molecule of them all, the CU. 2, M2, commonly known as a circle of M's and CU's, creating the perfect molecule of white substance that is sticky, but also lubricating. You understand? How's it smell? I personally think it smells delicious. Uh, but listen, none of that is important. What is important is testing out these splatterball guns because Amazon says these shoot safe and soft water BBs. But how safe and soft are they really? Which is why I'm gonna get shot with at least 10,000 of these water BBs. And uh, we're gonna find out how safe and soft they really are. What do you think the conclusion will be? I'm expecting them not to be safe or soft, but <laughs> we're gonna use them completely wrong and shoot me at point blank range a lot. Sounds safe. No, it doesn't. All right, clip on loading, number one. What's the worst that could happen, huh? Any safe words? Uh, hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. You got it. Oh God, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> You're already sweating. Yeah, just, it's really not hot in here. So, you know, I sweat when it's cold. It's a reverse- uh, Osmosis. No, hyperhidrosis. Science! Oh, okay, f so much I'm learning so much mostly that these are not safe or soft if anything they're hard and unsafe these are just like uh, Dude, this ain't gonna be good this is not gonna be good <laughs> it's gonna be like aerosol babies oh me what are you shooting stop you idiot don't shoot gangster that is not scientific at all and it's extremely inaccurate you know what? That's a pay cut. Ah, stop! Oh, mother! I mean, Eureka! <laughs> Scientific uh, discovery I made just there. You think you'll ever be in a college class, like a teacher presenting about you? I would like to believe so, yes. I could see it. Any further questions? Class dismissed. All right, let's see how long I can last now. Longer than you do in bed. Ah! Ah! Go! Was that longer or shorter? Longer. Two, one! <laughs> you had some in your hair, some fun stuff. Yeah, that, 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 that tends to happen. Uh, 
I think I farted. <laughs> So, so far we've shot a thousand of these water BBs. Each one of these little grenade things holds 500. We've emptied two of them. And these are the results. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're gonna go farther, but uh, this is neither safe or soft. Maybe if you were harder. Well, I'm just a humble scientist, Mark, so. Uh, being hard isn't my forte currently. You gotta go to Dr. Jones and get that checked out. Well, it's, I wasn't talking about my boners. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to a different splatterball gun. This one in particular shoots 200 feet per second, which is 50 feet per second faster than the last two guns. Uh, so. <laughs> Some more blood blisters? Yeah, I mean. I would imagine so, I would imagine so. But here's the deal, if I can withstand at least five seconds of straight fire from this bad boy, you all gotta give me a like on the video because I'll be honest, I I would really like some likes for this. Uh, just, it just, just sucks at Would you say this is military grade? No, I wouldn't, Mark, because that just sounds stupid. That's a like, right? <laughs> science is brutal, huh? Maybe my particular brand of science is brutal. <sighs> you should get a Nobel Peace Prize for this. I should, I should get all the awards. I should uh, be, uh, you know, up there with Einstein, I would imagine. Maybe, you know, uh, put me in the League of Philosophers like uh, Plato. Good job. up here, man, like it's just, it's just flesh. It's a fleshy sack of flesh. Oh, it sounds like a ball sack. <laughs> I think I filled in, filled it in pretty well. Yeah, it looks great, it looks fantastic. This is fun. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right? That's good. All right, good. I, I feel satisfied. Yeah, that was, that was a good, uh, good test. Yeah, we learned a lot there. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know if we learned anything new, but. Should we do it again? Oh, <laughs> you mother. <laughs> me in the neck! Very fortunate to be taking part of this science. Not many people get to do this. Well, yeah, and it's a really cornerstone movement that we're doing here. A lot of, this will be written about in scientific journals for years to come, I believe. Uh, we're setting a real milestone here, I believe. I, um, think, I think you'll always be remembered for this. Thank you, thank you. Carry on. Oh my God. Thank God that's over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check in on the results. As you can see, oh God. My bad. So as you can see. I don't see anything. Well, I do. Maybe it's because I have eyes built for science. Yeah, this is really bad, Garrett. What the f man? So I know I said I was gonna get a shot with at least 10,000 of these water gel BBs, but after extensive testing, we have found out that that is way too excessive. So we're gonna shoot another 1,500 of these water BBs at me, see how it look, and uh, probably call it good because uh, I piqued my scientific interest. I'll be honest, like my, I'm just, I'm just done. Want, I, a, want a bite? Oh God, oh. For science! Okay, 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 all right, yep, yep, all right. How was that compared to the, just uh, two of the guns? How was all three? Go! Okay! Jesus Christ, you guys wanna shoot my nutsack off? I was looking at the camera. <laughs> 
is that that's your sight? The, 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 the viewfinder of the camera is your sight? <laughs> Whip! Calm down, calm down! Ah, hey, hey, we got a wild hey, one! Hey, ah, hey, hey. Calm okay, down! Ray, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool! You cool, man? F you guys! <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go! Here, get, come here, Garrett. With the get the camera, Greg. Come here. So many BBs are hitting me. As you can see, the gel is just falling apart onto my body. You can scoop it up and eat it. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> that might be toxic. I, I thought it was safe. You're right. They did advertise it as safe, but I wouldn't recommend eating it. We gotta take them to court. I do want to sue them. To be honest, this just feels wrong. Everything about this. You know what? Give this at least four stars. Don't rate it anything higher than four stars because they're lying in their advertising. Go! For you, I did it for science. Honestly, I don't know why I did it. This was a dumb idea. You look like you have leprosy, man. <sighs> He's got a flesh-eating disease. Oh, we got pretty low. Wow. Can you guys explain this? Um, it was within range. It was within range. No, watch it! <laughs> We're clear. All right, it's been two days since I got shot with a good old splatter ball gun and we're checking in on the damage to see how I look. Well, first, you can see there's a few marks on my arm because uh, the accuracy in this experiment, you know, it left some stuff to be desired. But where the real meat and potatoes of the damage is, is right here, baby. Look at that. My middle of my chest is puffy. I'm just swollen everywhere. It looks like I got a terrible rash. Like, how could I explain this to someone if they saw me without my shirt on? I guess I just won it. But then I also got shot in the neck, as you can see here. Probably not as bad. But ultimately, what do I think about these splatter ball guns? Do I think they're safe and soft? No! Especially when you use them in a completely wrong fashion like we did. But now that I'm thinking about it, most people probably wouldn't use it that way. I guess this experiment was kind of pointless, huh?